go to hell. What? Why am I coated in blood, by the way? <laughs> I am just absolutely... Was there something in particular I did to deserve such a greeting? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I'm just poorly making a point. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial, it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. This reminds me of, do you remember Dragon Age Origins chat? Where you would just be coated in blood all the time. This reminds me of that, where you're just like always splattered in blood. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Cakes, for the resub. Says, happy 14-year anniversary. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I can't believe it's been 14 years on Twitch and Justin TV. Absolutely insane. Um, what's on your mind, Gail? Devils, dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract. Brooding will get us nowhere. Action will. This ballet of flames invites reflection. But you're right. Let's be up with the lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. <laughs> What's on your mind? Goodbye. You know what? I want to try something. If I choose a different character, can I Let's talk explore. to them as that character? No. Okay. No. I thought maybe, but no, it devolves to your character. Let's get going. Best be on my way. I was just curious if they did to something. Looks like she might have a quest for me. What were you two talking about? Uh. Sorry, I was. I'm a little distracted. I wasn't expecting um, to, to see the girls right now. Uh, what do you mean? You and Gail. We we're just discussing the next steps. I see. I'd be careful with Gail. You don't trust Gale? He's a wizard. All they care about is power. Let's hope we rapidly find a healer. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. I love when the when the cleric says we need to find a healer. I'm like, lady, what are you? What exactly are you, huh? Agreed. Uh, the sooner we find someone to help us, the better. We'll do some Twitch votes here and there. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. And where is the angry Githyanki lady? Oh, she's brooding over here by herself, of course. A monster forms inside Whoa. us, yet you waste time with idle chatter. She represents some people from Twitch chat that are like, Stop talking to everybody. Stop reading all the books. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, I'm sorry. Apparently, you can customize. Oh, right, yeah, you can customize your look in the uh, in the camp. You have separate outfit over here for camp, so we can like 
Whoa, be a little suave. Even, oh God, oh God, oh no. <laughs> you can be very free. What is that one? Scruffy Vagabond. That one's fine for now. Leather armor. <laughs> Getting a little too comfortable. Just a little bit more comfortable than I'd prefer. All right, let's go to sleep. Each day, the to restore hit points, uh, you must have enough camp supplies. Oh, Nana, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you so much. Let's get rid of all this miscellaneous food first. There we go. Full rest. DJ Mafia, thank you for those bits. You know what? I need to do a naked monk playthrough at some point. Because monks get monks don't have to wear armor to have lots of defense. So I'm gonna go around swinging my fists and my third arm, <laughs> punching people. Be the naked path. What if you bonus attack with your... You can do a bonus action to slap them with your... <laughs> with your, uh... Essence. Alright, let's save and then... Yeah, I don't trust this place. Um, scribes. But no sign of a struggle. Um. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. Let me take everything off of these guys, just in case. Anything of use? Protection from good and evil. Oh, I love that light coming. Oh my god. You can go over here? Oh, that's beautiful. Tomb Scribe, Gold, Quarterstaff. Just in case they resurrect, I want to loot all their weapons now, so maybe they'll be, they'll, they won't be able to do anything. That's my hope, at least. Let's down this. Uh oh. I didn't think anyone worshipped the Scribe of the Dead. Failed the religion check, of course. At least someone passed it. I'm gonna take your everything so you don't have a weapon. There's another guy hiding over here. Let's go loot him. Ooh, a heavy key. Ooh, what is that open, I wonder? Turn on that. Steel image, thank you for that brand new sub. It's so nice of you, thank you. It's Baldur Gate 3 only on PC. It is right now, but it'll be on console at the end of the month. They were able to move up the PC release, but not the console, because console has to have a thousand approvals before they even release a patch. Um, let's see. I see a plaque here. The inscription is in a language unknown to you. I bet you if you had that one spell, detect languages, you probably could open it. Wait a minute. Why were there perception checks? Something the matter. Now I'm nervous. What? 
Oh my god, I'm like... She has dark vision. I wonder what the next move is. So she can see in the dark, but other people can't. We just failed like four perception checks. That's not good. That's very bad. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh is no. That blood? No, never mind. Mm -mm. There's a big button don't on that wall too. Judging by what happened in that other room, uh, Larian is not afraid to put lots of traps everywhere. That looks so regal. Yeah, you're starting off, it looks nice in this. Pushing the button. Oh, no. Hells, something just woke up down here. Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. Oh, no. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and bless... ...all of you guys. Gonna run. Let's put Greece right there. Did that affect anybody? It looks like no. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, move back. Okay, you move up here. Use your short bow. Okay, you got him. And your turn. Paladin. The Paladin must dash to be effective here. Yeah, they cast a fog cloud, which causes blindness. We shall move over here. Out of the fog cloud. Okay, and then we really can't go anywhere too safe. So... Ooh, so many fog clouds. Just fog cloud everywhere. Ow, he threw a rock at me. If you move here, you're not blinded anymore. Let's go ahead and sixty-five versus seventy. Go for the seventy. Come. Oh yeah! And you broke concentration. The fog cloud's gone. Good. Very good. And you 
turn. Silence? Oh no. All right, how about Firebolt? You could probably move there. Oh, you're silenced. Oh no. Forgot about that aura. Oops. You know what? You probably can just... Nope, not enough movement. Topple, main hand attack. Oh shit, you can't really do anything. I uh, know, I, I forgot about the silence, damn it. It's kind of a problem. Is there anyone you can smack? You need to hit somebody. Okay, move over there. And you don't care about silence, so just go ahead and hit her. Really? Now they have one HP, come on. Ray of Frost, ow. That actually hurt a lot. <laughs> okay, move up there. Bonus action heal. And you really can't do anything right now except. Like nothing that's gonna help very much. So go ahead and cast Heroism. Master. That should help a little bit. <laughs> Whew! Oh, you got her. Perfect. Ow, you got him, though. Okay. Uh... Ma'am, can you please... Oh, silence is over here. So let's move behind that pillar. And then you go ahead and cast... Critical mess! Come on! What is this? Of course, fog cloud. Uh, let's see. We need that person to be dead. If you move, run up here, you hit him then. That should kill him 100%. Got him. Okay. And your turn. All right, ma'am, you're kind of... You're going to have to double run here. Run up next to that guy. He's being an asshole. Pummel him. Don't no need to action surge yet. So far, this combat feels really good. Really, really good. On Tactician, it feels very fair, very balanced. Even if it's hard, it does feel strong. Like, feel good. Swift as my feet can carry me. Okay, go ahead and attack. 26? How'd I hit him for 26? Uh, 
Uh, Mayhem attack hit a Tomb Shrine for 26 bludgeoning damage. Oh! Skeletons are vulnerable to bludgeoning, which my mace is. <gasps> I forgot. That vulnerable damage. Very nice. And you turn. Fire bolts. That's probably the closest Feel I'm able to get to hit her. You critical miss twice, ma'am. Twice. Speaking of which, can we swap weapons? Yes, you have a flail. Do that. Oh, that, it's a full action to swap your weapon? Oh no. Well, use your, use your second win. Well, shit. Nah, don't waste your action search. Go ahead and fireball. There, someone hit him. Jeez. <laughs> okay, now move behind that pillar. Well, it's, I can't tell if that's behind it or not. It's sort of. Turn that on as it's pretty. <laughs> Silence is fine. The barbarian doesn't use spells, lady. Let's, uh, bonus action, jump. Oh no, we can't land down there. Bonus action, jump. Whee! <laughs> and then go in for the kill! Wow. That was amazing. What an epic play. Oh good, he critically missed. It's always nice when the dice are mean to the oh enemies. Sacred Flame. 45% or... Oh, you actually can't hit him. Damn. Well, in that case, um, just don't do anything. We can't, we can't. Wait a minute. Forty percent. He missed again. Could you hit like even accidentally once? That'd be great. Four damage, great. Ah, go ahead and go again. Use your action search. Okay, that helps. Chipping him down, we like that. In striking distance. Firebolt. Can't quite hit him, so you have to turn. I if this is worth the cost. Run up there and smack him! And then do nothing! Move over here. And fire bolts. Sacred Flame has a higher chance. Of course he's saved. Never mind. Okay, attack. I speak, they burn. 
Okay, one HP. Fight. Let's go. Now the Paladin will smite for the kill. Yes. They didn't want to surrender their valuables, even after death. Uh, we're on tactician difficulty. Just to protect some dusty old baubles. Yeah, we've been doing very good with Tactician. I haven't had any issues so far. Tactician. Not bad. What's on your mind? Nothing. Never a dull moment. Now, now that we killed them for real, do they have new loot? They have gold now. So they do have more stuff. What's inside? Yep, gold. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Hi Dan, I'm uh I'm Dan too. <laughs> I've been binging your clips on Instagram and had to follow. Well thank you, Gaming Templar. Hope you've been enjoying. I've uploaded a lot of funny oblivion clips lately. Uh let's go that one's dead. Just grab that guy. Yeah, thank you guys for all the love in the chat today. You guys have been absolutely amazing, man. Love playing games with you guys. It's just fun to experience, show you guys new games, and have you enjoy it alongside me. Because when I was a kid, when I would play games, I'd be like, Mom, I beat this super hard boss. Oh, that's great. That's great. Take out the trash. I'd be like, aw, she doesn't care. But you guys care, and it's great. It's like, yay, chat gets to share my enjoyment. That's my favorite part about streaming is sharing those moments that normally no one would care about with people that do care and they're invested. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. What is in here? All right, we defeated all of the enemies. So now we get to get the loot. Uh, silk gland, gold, amulet of lost voices. You can speak with the dead. A level three necromancy spell. Ooh. Is that an amulet? So we get to use that. I will hold on to that. Sounds good. Richly adorned sarcophagus. Uh-oh. What the hell is that guy? So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me. Right, as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life?
All right, chat, you guys can vote for an option on the in the extension. What do you guys want to press? I'm curious what you guys want. Go ahead and vote in the extension right now. It should have got a pop-up. It, is it not working? <laughs> Again, you vote in the extension, not in the chat. So click the button. Yeah, something weird's happening with the... You should be able to vote in the extension for an option, but I, I think Twitch is acting weird today, so I don't know if it's working. Looks like chat does want the paladin answer. What manner of undead are you to ask such a question? I am not the same as those thou hast slain, if that is what thou askest. Wilt thou answer my question? Yes, ask away. Questions are fine. So, I ask again. What is the worth of a single mortal life? You guys can vote again, if it's working in the extension. I'm just curious what chat wants. I, I'm guessing the extension is broken right now because it's not working. Or there's a long delay. Oh, thank you, baby. Are you ordering food? I, just wanted, I thought you were uh, coming in to ask me or something. Or something. Okay, seems like most of chat wants me to pick. Depends on the mortal. But I want to pick number nine because that one is the paladin answer. Depends on the virtue of the life that is that is lived. I am curious by what standards thou shalt judge. Very well. I am satisfied. <laughs> we have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. What? Has it been? That's... That's we What? Oh, he's gonna show up again at some point. He didn't seem evil. He just seemed curious. A hundred gold, ooh. And a feather, and a soul coin. Hmm. Well, he did, it didn't sound like a threat. It just sounded like we'll see each other again when the time is right. This is not the moment. DJ Mafia, thank you for those gift subs. We have nothing more to discuss. Continue on my way. As if I were not here. I must attend this place after so many years away. We will see each other again. Soon. You seem very certain of that. How? The mechanics of fate would be difficult to explain to one such as thyself. Regardless, it will occur. How mysterious. I don't know. He doesn't seem evil. It just seems... Like he's chilling, he's probably How throwing a party. I love mystery 
like mystery characters like that. We don't know what exactly they're up to. That's good writing. When characters are pure evil or pure good, it's kind of boring. I'm glad when they're like, you don't know exactly what is going on. You don't know if they're good or bad. Some like sometimes you bring a rogue into your party at the very beginning of the game, and then they betray you at the end, and then they leave you without a party member, and you get really mad. Then you write a letter, and you get very upset because they had good loot on them, and they they were your only rogue that could pick things, and it's not fair that they just betray you and walk away and then die, and then I get up. I don't have a, a lock picker anymore. I think that was everything. Ooh, that was that was a good side dungeon. I like that. Let's um let's get a short rest in to heal everybody. Let's get going. Ooh, everyone's healed. Perfect. We're gonna make a save because we're about to go through a door. I don't know what's on the other side. Could be something bad. Chapel entrance. I need to make sure everyone has healing potions. So two, we will put, give two to you. So I'm hogging them all, apparently. I gotta find some heavy armor, damn it. So we are on the cliffs just below where we were before. Good to know. So I wonder if you could get in that back way without it, or if it's not possible. Oh, let me double check our loot. Uh, let's do a loot maintenance. We have, um, this is a dagger that does 1d8 plus three piercing. It's actually better than our current weapon, so we will put that on there. Oh, it's a javelin. Perfect. She'll like that. So it... When the spear misses its target, the wielder's next attack roll against the target gains true strike. Now let's go back over this way. I thought it was a dagger, but it's a, actually a spear. I need a shovel to dig this up. What a wonderful little side dungeon, though. I like that. Uh, looks like we need to go up into the woods over there now. To the next area. We also need to explore this section right here. Let's go down this way and look on the left over here. A lot of fire over there, though. Alright, let's go make a save and take a look see over here. Um, oh, that's where he fought earlier. Okay. Oh, there's a dead mind flayer right there. Potion, Skull, Spike Bomb, Void Bomb. Potion of Speed. Anything else? That's it. How's the combat in the game? It's, it's turn-based combat based on 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons. 
so it's very fun, and I, I'm having a blast with it. What's over here? This is like a spot you would hide something if I was Larian. Yeah, this, this ship that crashed was a living creature, so it's going to smell really bad as it rots away. Anything in this corner here? Wait, I thought I saw interaction. Oh god, that sound effect. I don't see anything. No interactions, no secrets. It sounds like it's falling. It's on fire, so the beams are probably melting about to collapse on itself. Divinity Original Sin or this? Both. Why choose one when you can play both? They're both very, very fun games. The combat's different in Divinity because you have action points instead of um, the turn base that this game has. Um, To the left is something? Any thoughts about the co-op mode? Uh, they showed it and it works really well if you want to play with a friend or girlfriend or boyfriend or something. You just, each person controls yourself and a party member. And if you're four players, you're all separate. Um, you're all the individual party members. You don't have like NPCs in your group. Ooh, a shovel, we found it. I hear shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. No, I need loot first, ma'am. <gasps> Scroll of mage armor and some gold. All right, we're going back. You know me, Chad. I'm not going to leave loot behind. Don't worry, I got you. We're going to get all the loot. They're both similar enough that you can play either and have some idea of how to play. Yeah, like they're, they're close enough that you'll be fine with either game. They have very good tutorials for both games, too, so you won't feel out of lost. Okay, we had not one, but two dirt mounds to dig up over here. So, Gith, aren't you worried your kind will punish you for consorting with us? My name is Lazelk Chucky, oh. and my kin will understand my need for servants. They will help you, but only if I ask. Oh. Okay, what's in here? Wow, scroll detect thoughts. Scroll of witch bolt, scroll of burning hands. Ooh. Very nice. Let's give um, the wizard all of our scrolls. That way he can cast them in combat. And also, he can learn spells, too, in exchange for gold. Do we have burning hands? I think so. Burning hands is actually useful if she can learn it. I think I think it's a mage spell, so it uses intellect as its uh, modifier. Unless it, unless you're a light cleric, then you get it. All right, and then there's one more over here. Do you think you can search for you, Lazel? Congrats for 14 years. You're the best. Thank you, Yazik. This is my responsibility to cleanse myself. They pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many, and will Gold not be a burden to the queen. Okay, let's go back. And Divinity Scrolls are one-shot cast books that you learn spells. I don't know if at Baldur's Gate's different. Well, this is based on Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I think you can learn scrolls. Pretty sure. All right, let's go back up this way. We need to go north over here.
you can only have four party members at a time, so you and then three NPCs. I was hoping it would have at least five, because that's like a better number, but four is okay. There are mods though if you want to have more than one more than four party members. It'll just make combat way easier because combat's balanced around there being only four. So keep that in mind. Alright, let's make a new save. I hear shouting. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! By the nine hells! Open the gate! Uh-oh. No! Uh oh. Shit! Form a line! Oh! Damnable roach! Provoke it's Dan Hum! And suffer its sting. Commence battle. Ooh, jumping up there, that's I'll cool. Bleed every last one of you. <laughs> what? Bonus action jump. Whee! <laughs> now, attack! Damn it! <laughs> Come on, lady, please. Like, really? <laughs> we do some epic stuff, and then she misses. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm on the ground because of grease. Uh-oh. Uh. Okay, fireball. <laughs> Good turn. Good turn. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I guess we're doing Firebolt. Yay, we hit him. <laughs> okay, in your turn. By sickle and sword. It's one hell of a fight. There's so many characters on the board. No one makes the paladin fall down. Uh, never mind. Apparently. I will move very slowly over here. And then I will throw. <laughs> I will throw a dagger at you. 
Wah! Yes! Uh oh. <laughs> don't die! We need you to distract them so they don't all come at me. Good job, took one out. Good hit! Yeah, action surge. Now we're going to hit. We're going to hit you this time. What is wrong with you, ma'am? He's right there in front of you. You had an 88% chance to hit. God damn, go again. There, you finally hit. My God. Ah. <laughs> uh, she had true strike, but still missed anyways. Okay, he's very low on health, so just go ahead and... 66 or 55. No, go for the fireball. What is happening today, people? What's happening? <laughs> Fireball. Yay! <laughs> Someone finally did it. Go ahead and jump. Oh wait, no, you're... Jump up there. Get him, sir. Ooh, he's a warlock. So he's got Eldritch Blast. The Paladin can leap mighty buildings. Can leap full buildings in a single bound. Wee! <laughs> Get smited, villain! Oh, he's so epic. Epic as hell. That was amazing. Uh oh. They still. Come on, ma'am. Come on now. She hit! <laughs> I didn't think she was capable, but she did it. Good job. She can do things. Oh, good heal. Um... Move out of the grease. Can you fire bolt? You have a chance to, if you crit, you could take him out. Or you could hit for zero. All right, mage, can you please jump? Over there. And then... Fireball. You crit for five? How'd you roll a... F what? You rolled a... A five on a two... On a 2d10. Wow. Nice heal. Oh, wait. I'll, uh, that'll be so high I'll lose health. Oops. And I'll fall prone. So we jump back down. Whee! If 
By the way, that music is... That is something. Throw a dagger. Come on, Paladin. Take him out. Seems like the best. Yeah! Woo! He's such a hero. Paladin is smiting everybody without mercy. <laughs> Ma'am? Wait a minute. That is a what? A spear. Let me double check your character sheet. I gotta double. I gotta make sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, spear. Yep, she's proficient in spears. She's a fighter. She's just missing nonstop. All right, uh, move up a little bit, ma'am. Boom. Oh, no, don't let her die. Just save everybody here. Good job. You killed somebody. We like that. Oh, good heal. The paladin shall jump. And the Paladin smites! That was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! It's done. Good. Damn. Oh, yeah. A brazen attack for such lowly creatures. They must have been seeking something. Ooh, bugbears. Morning star. Take the javelins. I'll take everything and sell everything. <gasps> Magic weapon. Uh, gloves of power. On a melee hit, possibly inflict my 1d4 penalty to the target's attack rolls and saving throws. Ooh. Spike shield. Goblin scimitar gold. More items. Uh, there's some loot over here. Uh, Bullywug Trumpet. Sure. Certain actions are frowned upon by others. Get caught. You might find yourself in a prison cell. Rotten Chicken Eggs. Ooh. Gold, goblin bone, bone. I don't know what I did that was illegal. Ooh, grab the dagger there. Oh, you can pick up your daggers after you're done. That might be useful. Did they just close the gates? Don't lose that guy. Okay, Bo. Good here, I, hope. I hope they have a vendor in here, as I really need some money. Uh, and that guy down there? Uh, ritual staff and bone cap. Ritual staff is literally just a just a staff. Nothing crazy. I always, it's always funny to me that they always give 
quarter staffs to wizards, but wizards never want to be in melee range to use it. I like this new trend of making staves cast magic instead. It much, makes much more sense. Oh, there's a waypoint there. And a balsam. Okay. Ooh, look at that scenery. You see that mountain down there? You can go there. I assume. I don't really know. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, 16 times the details. Yes. Okay, we went, I think we went everywhere around here. So if there are secrets, we have found it already. All right, let's keep going. All right, to the druid camp. Dear Larian, please have put a vendor. How would you punish someone who wronged you? Wrong me how? Oh, say, murder or theft? Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully a thousand times over. Hmm. Good to know. Wait, who's that guy? Oh, I went too far. Go back. As I was saying, please, dear Larian. Wait a minute. What's that? That's a fake wall. These tracks. That's curious. This is so, what is that? Underground passage. Ooh. We'll explore that in a minute. We gotta unload our loot first. I found a secret door hidden over here, and I saw a. Bear statue. Your sour face is tiring, Shadowheart. By all means, leave if I am so distasteful. I'd rather not turn my back on you, if it's all the same. <laughs> She's not wrong. Uh. Okay, there we go. Door open. Please let these people have a vendor. I really need a vendor. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! I've seen bloodier battles than this. Consider yourselves lucky! And who the hell are you again? Show some respect. This man saved your pathetic life. Yeah! Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward! The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. I... Oh, whoops, I forgot. Sorry. I forgot, chat. I forgot something very important. We have a sponsored stream. Uh, starting, I forgot, a sponsored stream. Uh, we're gonna be switching games. Uh, we're gonna be playing Baldur's Gate 3 that came out today. So we're gonna play that for a couple of hours and then when we're done playing that for the sponsor stream, we're gonna switch back to the game we're playing before. So if you're interested in checking out Baldur's Gate 3, which came out today, you can follow the link here in chat or under the panel below the video there. And click that link. Clicking that link does help the channel out, let people know that sponsorships work. So if you wouldn't mind just clicking it, just checking out the game. Because the game's amazing. I don't have to sell it to you, just watch it. This game is stunning, you're gonna love it. And it's out today on Steam. It'll be out on console in uh, the end of this month. Uh, so it's out on PC now, console the end of the month. I am a hero. More violence won't bring back the you lost. Stop and think. 
we get guidance on there. Fifteen. Oh, that's a that's a doozy. Okay. Here we go. And it might. That's enough. Yay. Nailed it. You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes. The both of you. Enough. Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. More goblins could be on their way. <laughs> we... I'm more worried about this parasite than a few goblins. We need a healer. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we stopped violence because the Paladin is a mighty hero. Helps those in need. Forgive that display. Aladdin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. I'm Dan, the Paladin, smiter of evil, savior of the weak, healer. All around great guy, super intimidating in combat, pretty awesome, very tall, very good looking. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Why are they forcing you out? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. The ritual. Is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Are you telling me you need a hero? <laughs> I will see what I can do. I think you should. Yes. No harm in trying the diplomatic route. We owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. You're very interested in trying the Shadow Monk. I do want to do a playthrough as Monk and see how they uh, perfected the class and made it way better than by default. Let's see what's in this crate. Looks like food. Bunch of clothes. Ignoble hat. Can I wear a hat? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is not happening. No, thank you. That one, that's not me. Take a look around here, though. Secrets? Any people over here? Any vendors? Oh, that guy died. Why does this keep happening? It was just... Have some respect. This really isn't the time to talk. How about now? Have some respect. This really isn't the time to talk. All right, we'll give her a couple more minutes. Also, they highlighted in red when an action is uh, illegal or bad. Not now. 
Please. Sorry. <laughs> Woo! Damn. Feel like we're glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long, though. There'll be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. I hear wolves hunting packs as well. I was told again and again in a little game called Dragon's Dogma. And they hate fire. You could hold off a horde of goblins from this position. Maybe, but we're not fighters. If they broke through, it'd be a massacre. The sooner we leave for Baldur's Gate, the better. How far are we from the city? If the road was clear, a ten days walk maybe. But while the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. Keep that in mind. Anything over here? Looks like no. I'm going to check all the little corners because it could be little secrets hidden anywhere in this game. Oh, oh, that lady. There's a bugbear assassin. Oh, shit. We will stop her, damn it. Command, no. Down with you. Okay, move over here. Um, what? Forty-five. Sacred flame. That did not hit very hard. Let her sight their demise. Good move. Go ahead and go ahead and grease him up. Move. <laughs> Good. Okay, ma'am, you need to run over here and throw a hand axe at him. Very good hit, not bad. I won't give in. <laughs> uh, oops. <laughs> I don't know. I was expecting something more epic than that. Ashley, move back a little bit. Uh, let's see what happens if we use fire. I should be fine. Oh, you missed. That's not good. Oh, it didn't light it on fire. Okay. Oh. Ow! He had advantage on the attack roll. Ah! Because I was prone. Okay, stab him in the back. Uh. All right. Celestial's Fiend and Undead. All I need is a good hit. That was not quite enough of a good hit. Okay, move there. Shove him. Ha <laughs> ha. 
All right, now you finish him off. Got him. Oh my God, chat, we leveled up. Hell yeah, so we are level three now. Paladin level three. We get divine health. The magic flowing through you prevents de disease from affecting you. You get another level one spell slot. We get abjure enemy. You can frighten the, an enemy. They'll be easier to hit um, and cannot move. It's a uh, channel oath. That's an action. And then the vow of anemone. Gain advantage on attack rolls against an enemy. That's such a good one. That's a good one. Bane and Hunter's Mark. Hunter's Mark's okay. Decent extra damage. Prepare spells. Hunter's Mark isn't bad. I will take... Uh Protect an ally against the attacks of the aberration of Cecil Fiend and Undead. Uh, I'll leave that on there, it's fine. Alright, not bad. Yeah, I already have Bless on our cleric, so I don't need two Blesses. They don't stack or anything. And the Paladin gets so many, so many fewer spell slots to use for stuff like that. So we get two... Uh, we get a level one spell slot and a level two spell slot. Ooh. Ooh, very nice. Tricky domain, ma mirror image, mirror image, and pass without trace. Level two is where you start getting the good spells. Uh, level two, enhance ability, blindness, silence. Lesser, ward, protection, calm, whole person, spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon is one of my favorite spells. It is so good. Heal your allies and increase their hit points maximum by five. Wait, all of our allies? Cure a creature from disease, poison, paralysis, or blindness. Warding bond. Warn an ally. They gain resistance to all damage and plus bonus armor. Plus bonus to their armor class and saving throw. Wait a minute. That's not concentration. It's not a concentration spell. And it lasts for, it stays on there forever. Yeah, that, it lasts until you sleep, take a long rest. That's like extremely good. I don't remember it being that powerful before. Why do paladins prefer chainmail? Because it's holy armor. All right, level the wizard up. He gets a level two and a level one spell slot. And we get to pick two spells to learn. All right, level two spells. Lock, blindness, blur. 
Cloud of Daggers, Crown of Madness, Darkness, Dark Vision, Detect Thoughts, Use some Large, Flaming Spear. Gust of Wind, Hold Person, Invisibility, Knock, Magic Weapon, Melv's Acid Arrow, Mirror Image, Misty Step, Phantasmal Force, Raven Feeblement, Scorching Ray. Scorching Ray is great. Seam Visibility, Shatter is pretty good too. How's the game? Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I am so happy. Acid Arrow does an average of about 8 damage and then 12, so it's not great. Regular visibility is not great. Flaming Spear. Summon a Flaming Spear that damages nearby enemies and objects. You can move a spear to emits a bright light. I believe Flaming Spear, you can make it hit people. I'll grab, like, he's kind of an evocation wizard. I'll give, keep him with that theme of fire. Burning Hands, Raven Feeblement. Limit a foe's sight, easier to hit. Creature will hit more. Blur. Hmm. Cloud of Daggers is terrible. Darkness. Creatures within cannot make range attacks in or out of it. Dark vision. Detect thoughts. Whole person. Gust of wind. Blur is really good defensive spell. It's good to have a defensive spell, too. We'll do that, too. Spellbook. Um... Heavily obscures creatures when they... That's true. Heavily obscures. So they have disadvantage when they attack. Witch Bolt, you're gone. And we're going to put Scorching Ray in your place. And instead of Ice Knife, we'll take Blur. For now. Perfect. Alright, one more level up. Hers is easy, though. She's just a fighter. She just... Do more damage. Oh, dear God. What happened? Ah, I hate it. <laughs> uh, do we want her to be Battle Master, Eldritch Knight, or Champion? She seems to me more like a champion. But it's not very good, so we'll go battle master. I like superiority dice; it gives you a lot more, gives you a lot more like things to do, so you don't feel so like mediocre. Okay, so post when a hostile creature misses you with a melee attack expend a security dice to retaliate with a powerful strike that deals an additional 1d8 damage that's good I like that one yeah do not look at the creature <laughs> uh, let's see precision Add it to the result of the attack roll. Menacing frightens the target. 
Slightly true, gain half its movement speed. Use your, both your action and bonus action to turn to attack a target with advantage and deal an additional 1d8 damage. Ooh. So gaining advantage. Trip attack. Spend a dice to deal additional damage and possibly knock the target prone. Now, prone is really good when we get extra attack because if they're on the ground you get advantage on the next attack. I'll take trip attack. Goading, feigning. I think feigning attack is another one if we like, want to get disadvantage. Wait, a powerful shot. Oh, we don't want that. Chirp attack's not good. Rally. Spin a su uh, superiority dice to add the result to the attack roll. We'll try that. We just need a little extra damage. Okay, she leveled up. All right, there we go. Everything's back to normal. That was scary. Let's give me some heals. All right, I saved you, madam. Are you happy? You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone... poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? No. Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. But too bad. I earned it, fair and square. The path I follow is far more noble. If you possess a devil's artifact, you should leave it in my charge. I'm going to be chased all over Faerun for this damn coin, aren't I? Fine. Take it as a grudging payment for the rescue. Now leave me in peace. Saving fail... Save failed Arcana. What exactly is this coin? It's a soul wrapped up in a terrible iron package. Don't ask who's because I don't know. I hope it brings you better luck than it has me. Okay. Oh, let's loot the assassin. I forgot to loot him. Grab our hand axe as well. Oh, he's over here. What's inside? What is in there? Gold, basic poison, morning star, and room. How much farther can I go? Well, we might as we might as well do that. Oh, Short rest, that get full later. health again. Doesn't hurt to full rest. Short rest me. All right, let's go down this way. Yeah, I don't know what's in these soul coins. We don't know what they're for yet. But they sound evil. I better confiscate them just to make sure they don't harm anybody. We should have time for that. Yeah. Let's go look over here next. Yeah. It would be good. like we're being watched. Yeah, these tieflings are all over here. They're refugees. They said from, I think. Oh, that's stealing. We don't touch that. That's all stealing. Vanishment, thank you for the five gift subs. I appreciate that. And thank you, Feisty Dragonus, Mugens, Rarnan. Thank you for those subs, guys. Unfortunately, that guy died and I couldn't stop it. 
So these are all owned by those people. Yeah, there's a bunch of tieflings and a bunch of druids. Tom fan, thank you for that 51 month resub. Ooh, that looks amazing. Layering is so good at environment art. That looks just stunning. Beautiful. I can't wait to get to Baldur's Gate and see what that looks like. Doing some sort of ritual. They said that they were going to close off the Druid Circle from the outside world or something. What's over here? Anything? I'll just go back up to where that assassin was. Okay. All right, let's go talk to the druids and see what their story is. Now that we've talked to the uh, the tieflings. I'm hyped about getting to Baldur's Gate after playing early access for like 80 hours. Oh, hell yeah. Apparently, they've worked really hard on Baldur's Gate to make it like one seamless giant city full of life and NPCs and quests. And it's going to feel like a... Like a full, living, breathing world. This is about your precious borders, Gate. I care about our lives, our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back, right now. I don't know. They're they're fighting. You look like a merchant. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Are you really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What about the people here, though? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. You just said the region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. As I said, it's a drastic measure. But the survival of the Grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. I'm looking for a healer. I pray no Goblin Arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The Grove will be locked down soon. What are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. <gasps> we could sell all of our gear. <laughs> Two, uh, trading is quick and easy, but bartering will let you haggle for the best value. Ooh. All right, Calm I. Down. Please. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. Can I not? I'm going to sell. Is there no shift click or right click or control click? Nothing seems to like auto move into the middle. All right, we'll just have to move things manually, I guess. All oh, double click works. Morning star, scimitar. I'll sell the books. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back right now. Do you guys remember Divinity Original Sin 1? And they added voice acting to the whole thing, which was amazing. It was such a good decision. But in the first town, there was this guy selling cheeses. And oh my god, did I have to hear about his many cheeses 
again and again and again for hours and hours. I have many cheeses. He was all about selling that cheese. I don't think any plates or mugs or bones. Will rags people tasteful that doesn't matter. Of course it does. You would choose strangers over us. <laughs> Not what I said. Come. Can we stop shouting? Malachite. Yeah. Onyx. Dun, 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 dun. Keep the hand axes, I'll get rid of the great club. Really okay. the morning star. I don't need these two rings. They don't do anything. Or the locket. Or these bowls. Or the bottles. I have 400 gold worth of stuff. Hell yeah. Now you Calm have down. heavy Please. armor. Whoa. You're going to get us killed. That's a 15 versus a 14. Padded armor. The wearer gains 1d4 bonus to throw damage. Ooh, there's so many cool magic items. Missile staring. You can intercept missiles from ranged uh, weapon attacks, reducing their damage by 1d4 plus your dexterity modifier. Oh, there's so many good things here. Uh, I will take the. This is about your precious borders gate. I will take I the heavy armor for now. Our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back, right now. Get rid of the leather armor. The. Spike shield. Don't need quite so many daggers. We'll get rid of those. Uh, you take it back right now. What? Oh. Okay, we have heavy armor now. Boom. Gloves of power. Melee hit possibly inflict. I'll wear those because I'm the I'm the hero. I get to wear the good stuff. Mm -hmm. I have 17 armor class, which is better. We don't even know these people. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. You would choose oh, strangers oh, oh. over us. That's not what I said. Can we stop shouting? No. No. Uh, where'd the armor go I just took off? Oh, it's right there. Now, what does it look like when I, uh... Yeah, I gained two AC from this because I have a negative in dexterity. So that's very good. I'll get hit a lot less now. Perfect. And we'll trade that. Thank you. Sylvanas, guide your path. The lady from Warcraft? No, thank you. Calm down. Please. Be careful when a trader's watch flies are actually behind. affects their You're price of stock. Okay. What are you guys arguing about over here? Can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Uh, you're playing a cleric and half orc barb inspired by late. Favorite D&D characters, Ramus and Burke. Awesome, Burindi. Those are a good combo. 
Where the weak have need, the strong have duty. Stay. Just like I was saying, I don't want all these lives on my conscience. We need to stay. I have Look. spoken. Fine. We'll stay. If we survive, it'll make for a good story, I suppose. There's a Thank lot of you, paladin Ryan. interactions. So far, the paladin has a lot of interactions that are just for paladin. Don't be Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. You're very grumpy. If you have to say you're not grumpy, then you're probably grumpy. Hello. Oh. Uh. Right. Uh. Go for the heart. What? Next time the goblins come, I'll be ready. Right. Go on. Give me a best shot. <laughs> Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. It's good advice, child. You would be... You do well to listen. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. Another escapee? Thank the gods. I need all the friends I can get. Better friends than the ones hitching a ride in our skulls, at least. I'm sure you know the stories. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. They say there's no coming back. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. A devil's advocate? Do you think she'll bring the blood war to Faroon? That ship sailed the sticks already. All I can hope for is to limit the damage. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Is it just me, or does the hair in this game look really damn good? Like, they did a fantastic job with hairstyles. There's so many of them, and they all look amazing. Let's join forces. I'll help you cast this devil back into the hells. For that's my mission as a paladin. To smite evil and wickedness and burn it with my holy light. An excellent suggestion. But your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. Go to my camp and wait for me. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. I can only have three party members at a time. Uh, I think five would have been a better number. Again. Swing and swing. 
Parry it. And again. Swing and swing. Hello there. By Mordai's eyes. Another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Excuse me? Yes, and I suggest you do as she says. <laughs> Lower. <laughs> She's serious. You better get on your knees fast. <laughs> you saw another gith. Where? On the road to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. Up. You can keep your innards. <laughs> you want to talk to me? The locals prove compliant. A useful trait. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Don't get jealous. Do you plan to be that rough with everyone we meet? Rough? Soon you will be vomiting blood and tearing apart your own flesh. When the tentacles sprout from your lips, will you still cry that I was rough? All right, you made your point. Then I needn't make it again. The tea sling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Um. <laughs> Did you say tiefling? I am unfamiliar with the, well, I shall not say culture, custom perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this fey run. It's it's fey no no it's fey rune. <laughs> what do you mean purification? The crash holds the zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. I like her. She's very feisty and very like step. Thank you for uh, 99 month Risa Maunat. Thank you very much. Bad Viking Sweden, uh, Beta Bandit, Agent Purple, Tome Fan. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are amazing. Uh, that's all locked. Don't be grumpy, we'll Hello the there. I am Goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. I guess if you're a tiefling, you have to have horn holes. Shabby door. Um. Hello. Me and Roland would never admit it, but they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. We should have left by now. Damnation! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. Why the rush to leave? You don't understand. My apprenticeship with Laroa can begin shortly. I cannot be late. Yes, that Laroa can. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. Never heard of him. I've heard that name before. A young man, yes? Lives in Ramazes Tower in the upper city. The very same. Word in Waterdeep has it he's a bit of a cad. 
But you say he's an accomplished wizard. <laughs> of course he is. The greatest spellcaster along the Sword Coast. As if I'd settle for a lesser mentor. In that case, mm. I'd very much appreciate it if you could arrange an introduction, should we reach the city. Yes. It's interesting, like, you get different conversations depending on who you have in your party when you talk to people. So I wonder, like, how many dialogue lines we will never see if we don't have, like, the certain party member in the certain party at the right time. It's going to create a lot of replay value when you have different people in your group. I've heard stories about Lorak and none of them good. Common gossip. The byproducts of ignorance and jealousy. I've admired Lorokin for years. Never dreamed he'd answer my letter. But I've worked myself to the bone for this. Few can match me in either magic or talent. The names Rolin and Lorokin will be known far and wide. You'll see. Well, we'll see, all right. We will see. How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. Who are you? You! Saw you fighting Grandma. those slimy bastards! Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Uh... What is it exactly? Food. You want it or not? I'll take it. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Some gruel. Mm, delicious. Nothing like gruel. Ah, uh, this isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh. What? There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh, cold, feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. <laughs> lotions and potions. Uh, I'll let her... What are you, an alchemist? Oh, nothing as fancy as that. But I come from a long line of women with a dab hand at such things. Aha! You take a sip of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. It's a fancy bottle. And what is this exactly? Oh, it's just a healing potion. Nothing fancy. Here... You just look like you might need a pick-me-up. I'm sorry to go on about it, but are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. It's not like there's a wiggling worm inside my brain that's going to make my head explode and turn into a mind flare. <laughs> it's been better. It's difficult to explain. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. <laughs> My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? Uh... <laughs> I've got a Mind Flayer parasite in my head. As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly! I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but yes, I may have something at home. Really? Such as? I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. 
you'll have to stop by my house, just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Uh, Fortune, you're streaming. Were you on Just TV? Yes, we were streaming on Just TV in 2009. Well, it's been 14 years. Uh, show me your wares. Hey, bother. I received a potion of greater healing. Oh, nice. That's nice of her. Oh, they, that icon is actually the greater healing potion. She has... Wait, an uncommoning natural pugilist. We'll get to the city soon. You I gain bonus to unarmed damage rolls. Wilder's not wearing armor. They receive <laughs> You're an idiot. damage... What is the saving throws? No, oh, that's for a. Uh, that's like a monk weapon. Ooh, quarter staff. Very cool. Potion of invisibility. Very nice. Jeez. Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, pet. I like her. She's just oozing personality. I like it. She's great. Okay, we gotta save these refugees somehow. Oh, they need my help. So I don't trust do her, Dan Sus. Okay. Ooh, what? I'm waiting on someone, and you aren't him. Do you mind? True. Fine. Sorry. Damn. Good to be back behind the walls, have to say. For as long as that lasts. Uh, I have something Hi there. To if you ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. You might be if you demonstrated more honor in your dealings. <laughs> Please. A good sword will get your father than honor any day. What do you want, anyway? I ain't local. I know knew the fella in charge, but barely said two words to the devil's swarm in his place. I should speak with that fellow, know where he is. Aye. His name's Halsin. And if he's still alive, he'll be cursing the day he laid eyes on me. We've got a contract to track down some relic, and he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. Can I have a look at that contract? <laughs> Job's all yours. If you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay goblos for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. <gasps> but gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Is this a quest? <laughs> Any idea what this relic is? If I knew that, I wouldn't be back here with half my crew gone. But look, if you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral, but my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the Whoa. contract. It'll show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. <laughs> you can't say fat old chonk. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. Clearly, he oh, underestimates the power of the paladin. <laughs> Many have made that mistake before. I love Dan enjoying the, this so much. Yay! Hi there. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. What? Cats, though? A little orange cat. And a house with a little door Tifa. so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Sorry. Uh. What kind of a city doesn't allow dogs, but only allows cats? What? 
That is messed up. Like, I love cats, but I love dogs too. Uh. Don't mind me, I was just passing through. No bother. We're just daydreaming, anyhow. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? Uh, let's see. The blushing mermaid for me. Bit rough, but the ale's cheap. <laughs> We've had enough rough to last us a good long while. Good luck to you then. And wish us some, too. I'll loot their corpses later because they'll probably get killed. Remember the names of Bex and Danis. We'll probably find them dead in the alleyway. Just because the, the devs want you to be like someone and then have them killed off later to stimulate emotion. You know, it's a classic move. Don't you lie to me, boy. It happens, it happens. It's a good way to like... Your get people to like like I someone will. and then you kill them off. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Hello? Scowl on your face before the truck. I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head! All right, chat, you guys can vote here. Which option do you want? Vote in the extension in the Twitch app. Go ahead and vote in the extension and for the option you want. Looks like chat wants the don't you dare lay a finger on that child. Go ahead and vote. You gave me another couple seconds to vote in the extension. Yeah, looks like chat really wants number one. Emo only. Ah. Don't you dare lay a finger on that child. You threatening me. You're the one making threats to a child. Pull yourself together. Threat! <laughs> you don't understand. The kid stole my locket. He... Oh, the hell's with this? These little devils get away with everything because of godly bastards like you. Racist. You'll get yours someday. I hope I get to see it. Maybe you will, but personally, I doubt it. See you around. That heroic and reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell. That man is not nice. Hello there. Please, I. I've been through enough. Oh, it's him again. Oops. Have I talked to you yet? Damn, goblins. Probably get that looked at. Oh, I. I was just gonna let it fall off, stick it in my satchel. <laughs> I ain't letting anyone here near me. <laughs> they all sat and watched while Zevlor near got us killed. He let you in, didn't he? Could have been worse. Oh, very gracious of you. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe, but not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight, but not Liam, no. He charged him, the stupid bastard. He died with bravery. You should be proud of his sacrifice. Bravery? No. When it gets you killed, it's just called stupidity. That was lesson one. If Liam had only bloody listened. Small mercies. Uh, where did that one racist guy go? 
He like disappeared on me. Did I talk to you? No, Damon. I never talked to you yet. You look like a blacksmith. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Torel. You know, most tieflings are pretty. Eh, but this guy is, you know. He's like a maybe. The fort's totally holding on by a thread. Are you a smith? Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before El Torel fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. Uh, there's so many tieflings because this is a tiefling refugee camp that's hiding out with a bunch of druids. Do you have any good... Ringmail armor plus one. Well, it's not exactly plus one. It doesn't have plus one to EC, but it's okay. Warhammer plus one. Oh. Yes, please. That would be good for the paladin. Die if I met the we want to smite more effectively. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. Great club. Short bow plus one. Hunting short bow. Safeguard shield. Ooh, the shield has a plus one to saving throws on it as well. Ooh, I want that. That's pretty good. That would be amazing. Athletics plus one. Strength saving throw plus one. The rest of those are pretty just okay. Ooh, a helmet. Saving throws plus one. Constitution saving throw. Uh, I don't I have a lot of things to sell. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face before the troll. I'll sell some of these things to offset the cost a little bit. Like candles, skulls, grease bottle, destitute clothes, a plate. <laughs> eh. It's worth it, though. Oh, we'll sell the shield. And the Warhammer as well. Thank you. Goodbye. So now we have a plus one Warhammer and a... And a shield to go with it. Shows off his thunder wave. And a helmet. Depends. Oh my god, the paladin is looking good. <laughs> True. He's looking good. I like it. Hmm. He's going to be a force to... Oh, hi. Hi, kitty cat. Cracked Hunter, thank you for that raid. Sorry, I just teeth, but everybody, she's just rolling in the chat, you know. She's a good girl. I'd die if I met Leroic and Reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell a good out kitty. Of I'll have to burn them. All right, let's. Oh, speaking of uh, good girls, Baldur's Gate Three is a good. Girl. <laughs> that doesn't work. 
Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 is out now. Make sure you check it out. Link is in the chat here. <laughs> that transition, though. Uh, make sure you click that link in chat. The game's out it, on PC. It's amazing. Click the link. Check. Oh, not that one. There you go. Check that link in the chat there. It's uh, out now. Uh, clicking that link does help the channel out. Also, that's in the panel below the video. Click one or the other. And it does help us out. The game is great. It's amazing. We've been playing it for, for about six hours now. And having the time of my life with it. It's great. So amazing. Been having a ton of fun just talking to everybody. Doing the combat's been great. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face. All right, let's go ahead and. <laughs> You're an idiot. Hello, Clyde and Malau. Okay, we talked to you. You're gonna be sorry. Have I talked to you? I can pack or talk, and right now I'm packing. Let's see what's behind this door over here. Someone's in a cage. Uh oh. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. <laughs> Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Ooh. This goblin is in need of judgment. I should decide her fate. I didn't ask for you to say a damn thing! Keep out of it! I will step between the crossbow and the goblin. I'm a hero! Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector! You're gonna kill him too! You! Move! This won't avenge Cannon. It won't change anything. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't get my 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 bonus. All right. Here we go. Oh, uh, we did it. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Thank God. You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Because I'm a goddamn hero. And that's what we do. Because vengeance eats people alive, you'll grant the goblins two victories this day. Tch. Your soft heart will be the death of us. Tch. You'd better be right. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. My Zell disapproves of everything. Oh, you Jeez. are all boring. Even your cages are boring. You're boring. Hi. Ain't sure why you're protecting me. <laughs> Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends walk me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. Uh, says the Vengeance Paladin. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, chat? Thank you. I just saved your life. Show some gratitude. They'll peel your face off and nail it to a wall. I ain't scared of some god. Stick a dozen arrows in me and Priestess God still patch me up. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <gasps> Mighty Booyog. A goblin healer. We really are desperate, aren't we? Well, I'd certainly like to meet her. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? Actions have consequences, Saza. Maybe use this time in the cage to reflect. Suit yourself. 
Looking forward to seeing what your innards look like. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids, and your birdies, and your dogs. <sighs> what? Running out of time, walk me. My family will be here soon. Let me out. You already told me what I need to know. I'll find the priestess myself. <laughs> Even if you did find my tribe, they'd set the wargs on you. You need me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. Liar. Suit yourself. Looking forward to seeing what your innards look like. Liar. Let me out, you bunch of suckers. I will not ally myself with such a villain. I am righteous and holy. Jump! Whee! <gasps> What's that? What is that? You're gonna be sorry. Every last one of you. A secret door? Underground passage. Oh, it's the same passage from before. Ooh. The Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to it. Okay, my mom always said before you go into a scary cave, you don't know what's in there. Always use the potty first. So I'll be right back in just a minute.